everyone. Today is going to be the best day ever. My name is Kaylin. And I'm Justin. We're so excited to party with you today. Before we can kick off the best day ever, we need to know who's with us. So everyone, shout your name on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa, nice to meet you, friends. We're so glad you're hanging out with us today. To get things started, we have a super fun video. Here, check this out. was the best. What a way to kick off our day as we're building up to the best holiday ever, Easter. Now, you may be wondering why we're partying today when it's not even Easter. See, the thing is, Easter is an awesome day because it's when we celebrate that Jesus is alive. But when we're following Jesus, every day can be the best day ever. You bet. And we're kicking off this celebration the right way with the best game ever. So here's how we'll play. We'll show you a picture and there will be an Easter egg hiding somewhere in that picture. You will have 20 seconds to spot the Easter egg and then find something in your house that is the same color and bring it back to your seat. That's right. And don't worry if you missed the first one because we'll play three rounds total. Okay, here comes the first one. And time's up. Did you see that blue egg? Justin, what did you find that was blue? I found a blue hat. Nice. I hope you're ready for the next one because here it comes. And time's up. That yellow egg was hiding really well in those balloons. Justin, did you find anything around here that was yellow? I sure did. I went straight to the kitchen and found this banana. Nice. There's one more egg to find and here it comes. Time's up. Man, that purple egg was a little hard to see. Tell me about it. I saw it just in time and grabbed this purple sock. Yeah, I can smell it all the way over here. That really was the best game ever, but I've got something that'll top it. Wait, are you talking about the best story ever? Of course I am. You guys, check it out. This is the best story ever. When God created the world, he made people, and he loved them very much. Out of all the people God made, he chose the Israelites to be his special people. They moved away from the land God gave them to Egypt, where an evil ruler named Pharaoh made them slaves. 
they were treated terribly for hundreds of years until God sent a man named Moses to rescue them. God used nine bad things called plagues to show Pharaoh that he should seriously let God's people go free. But Pharaoh kept saying no. That was until the 10th and final plague. God sent an angel of death to take the life of every firstborn son in Egypt. God told the Israelite families to prepare a special meal by killing their best lamb. And then he said to paint its blood above the doors of their homes. The families who did would be saved because the angel who was coming would pass over their homes. After that night, Pharaoh realized that God was in charge and let God's people go free. To the Israelites, it was the best day ever. God had saved his people and he wanted them to always remember it. So every year after that, God's people remembered the wonderful way he had saved them by celebrating a meal together and they called it Passover. But God's people weren't perfect. They sinned again and again. And since God is perfect and just, he had to punish their sins. But God didn't want the people he loved to have to die for their sins. So he told them to kill a perfect lamb and that its blood would cover their sins for a little while. But God made them the best promise ever. One day, he would send the Lamb of God to save all people from their sins forever so that they wouldn't have to keep doing this. Many years later, God kept his promise and sent his son, Jesus, to earth. A man named John knew God's promise was coming true. And when he saw Jesus, he said, look, the Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. John knew that God sent Jesus to be the perfect sacrifice that would forever pay for people's sins. Jesus was an Israelite, which meant he also celebrated the Passover. So one year, he and his friends were making their way to Jerusalem, where everyone was getting ready to eat the Passover meal. The people heard that Jesus was coming, and as he entered the city, a huge crowd spread their coats on the road and waved palm branches. They believed that Jesus had come to save them, so they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. At the same time, some Jewish leaders saw how much the people loved Jesus. These leaders didn't believe that he was God's son and felt threatened by his power and popularity. They made a deal with one of Jesus' followers named Judas, and he agreed to hand Jesus over to them in exchange for some money. It was now time for the Passover meal to remember how God had saved his people from slavery in Egypt long ago. So Jesus sat down to eat with his disciples. He thanked God for the bread on the table, broke it, and gave it to his disciples to eat. Jesus told them that whenever they eat the Passover bread from now on, they should remember him. Then Jesus thanked God for a cup of wine and said, each one of you drink some of it. This wine is my blood, which will be poured out to forgive the sins of many. When the meal was finished, they went out to the Mount of Olives to pray. That's when Judas showed up with a crowd of people ready to arrest Jesus. When they took Jesus away, he was beat up, yelled at, made fun of, and eventually nailed to a cross where he died. This seemed like the worst day ever. But what people didn't understand was that God had the best plan ever. He was working these things out for good. God allowed all of this to happen because Jesus was the perfect sacrifice, the Lamb of God, who was saving people from their sins forever. After Jesus died, they put his body in a tomb and sealed it shut with a giant stone. But three days later, God sent an angel to roll the stone away. When he did, everyone could see that Jesus wasn't in there. Some ladies came to the tomb and the angel said to them, don't be afraid, he has risen from the dead. It was the best day ever. 
the women were filled with joy and hurried to find Jesus' friends. As they were telling the disciples all they had seen and heard, Jesus appeared and showed them all that he really was alive. Before he went back to heaven, Jesus told his disciples to go everywhere in the world and tell the good news to everyone. Jesus said, whoever believes will be saved. Just as God had saved his people long ago from slavery in Egypt, God had now saved everyone from their sins by sending his son, Jesus, to be the perfect sacrifice for all time. Because of what Jesus did, anyone who believes in him and follows him can be forgiven of their sins. Jesus is the best ever. Isn't that just the best? God's promise to save us from our sins was the best promise ever. And that's what we need to know today. Say this after me. God's promise. God's promise. Is the best ever. Is the best ever. Say it one more time. God's promise. God's promise. Is the best ever. Is the best ever. Okay, we have some questions for you to think about. The first one is, when God's special people were slaves in Egypt, did he save them? Or did he leave them there? God didn't want them to suffer, so he saved them. Yep, and I love how they made sure to never forget what God had done for them by having this special Passover meal every year. Let's see if you can remember something else from the story. The next question says, God didn't want anyone to have to suffer and die for their sins. So who did he promise to sin to save everyone? The Easter Bunny or the Lamb of God? The Easter Bunny is awesome, but God promised to send the Lamb of God, who would take the punishment for our sins once and for all. Oh man, that was the best promise ever. Now let's see what our final question is. Are we still waiting on God to keep his promise, or did God do what he promised when he sent Jesus? We're definitely not waiting on God to keep that promise, because Jesus was the Lamb of God that he promised to send. But why was he called the Lamb of God? That's a great question. Here, check this out. Why was Jesus called the Lamb of God? Here's why. If the Israelites wanted to be forgiven, they had to kill perfect lambs to pay the price for their sins. But why not something big, like a bear? Or something small, like a mouse? Why did it have to be a lamb? Well, believe it or not, there's a few reasons why. Lambs are born being pretty perfect. They don't do anything wrong, they're gentle and kind, and for many of them, their fluff is even spotless. For the Israelites, this made lambs the perfect payment for their sin. Those lambs sound a lot like Jesus. He was perfect in every way, and that made him the perfect sacrifice to pay for everyone's sins forever. We don't have to sacrifice lambs anymore because Jesus sacrificed himself for us, and that's why we call him the Lamb of God. That makes so much sense. I knew it would. Now, what better way to celebrate the best promise ever than to sing the best song ever? I totally agree. Some of you may have heard this song before, but if you haven't, you'll catch on fast. This is a freestyle situation, so you can worship God in your own way right where you are. Now, remember, worship is a way to say thank you to God for all he's done, like making us the best promise ever. So, when you're dancing and singing along, make sure your mind is thinking about God. That's right. Now everyone, get on your feet and worship together.
Jesus is alive, and that's the best news ever. I'm so thankful that God kept his promise and sent Jesus to earth to save us. Knowing that Jesus is alive and that we are forgiven makes every single day the best day ever, no matter what's going on around us. Now let's pray and thank God for his best promise ever. Everyone bow your heads and close your eyes as we pray together. Father God, thank you for promising to send Jesus to save us from our sins so that we can be forgiven and live forever. Please help us to believe in Jesus and follow him so that every day can be the best day ever. Amen. Now, go and have the best day ever, and we'll see you again soon.